In this video, we will do another numerical problem on cost minimization of a firm. In the solution to the given problem, we will write down given average cost function AC is equal to Y bar which is equal to Q square minus 8Q plus 50. We need to find the minimum average cost. Also, we need to show that at minimum average cost, marginal cost and average cost are equal. Let us find the first order derivative. The first order derivative, the AC by DQ, that is derivative of AC with respect to Q is equal to derivative with respect to Q of AC. That is Q square minus 8Q plus 50. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to q of q square minus 8q plus 50 is equal to derivative with respect to q of the first term minus derivative with respect to q of the second term plus derivative with respect to q of the third term. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to q of q square is equal to 2q minus using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to q of 8q is equal to 8 times derivative with respect to q of q plus the derivative with respect to q of constant 50 is equal to 0. The derivative with respect to q of q is equal to 1. 8 times 1 equals 8. Therefore, the first order derivative dAc by dq is equal to 2q minus 8. According to the first order condition for minimization, the first order derivative dAc by dq must be equal to 0. That is 2q minus 8 must be equal to 0. Or by transferring minus 8 to the right hand side we have 2q equals 8 or q equals 8 by 2 or q equals 2 times 1 equals 2, 2 times 4 equals 8. Therefore, stationary point is at q equals 4. Let us now find the second order derivative. The second order derivative denoted by e square ac by dq square is equal to derivative with respect to q of the first order derivative that is dac by dq. Now the first order derivative dac by dq is equal to 2q minus 8. So in place of dAc by dq, we will write down 2q minus 8. By using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to q of 2q minus 8 is equal to derivative with respect to q of the first term minus derivative with respect to q of the second term. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to q of 2q is equal to 2 times derivative with respect to q of q minus the derivative with respect to q of constant 8 is equal to 0. The derivative with respect to q of q is equal to 1. 2 times 1 equals 2. Therefore, the second order derivative d square ac by dq square is equal to 2. According to the second order condition for minimization for the existence of a minimum value of a function, the second order derivative must be positive. Now since the second order derivative d square ac by dq square is equal to 2 which is greater than 0, therefore the second order derivative is positive. Therefore the average cost function is minimum at output level q equals 4. In order to find the minimum average cost or the minimum value of average cost function, we need to substitute the value of q at which the function is minimum in the average cost function. So in order to obtain the minimum value of average cost function, we need to substitute the value of q equals 4 in the average cost function. So in place of q, we will substitute it by 4. 4 raised to the power 2 equals 16 minus 8 times 4 equals 32 plus 50. 16 plus 50 equals 66 minus 32. 
66 minus 32 equals 34. Therefore, the minimum value of average cost function is AC min equals 34. In addition to finding the minimum average cost, we also need to show that at a minimum of average cost, marginal and average cost are equal. Now we know that marginal cost function MC is equal to DC by DQ. That is derivative of the total cost with respect to the units of output produced. In order to obtain the marginal cost function, first of all, we need to find the total cost function. Total cost function C is equal to average cost function AC times unit of output produced Q. The average cost function AC is equal to Q square minus 8Q plus 50. So in place of AC, we will substitute it by Q square minus 8Q plus 50. Q square times Q equals Q cube minus 8. Q times Q equals Q square plus 50 times Q equals 50 Q. Now since we have obtained the total cost function, we can now proceed to find the marginal cost function. Marginal cost function MC which is equal to DC by DQ that is derivative of C with respect to Q is equal to derivative with respect to Q of C that is Q cube minus 8 Q square plus 50 Q. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to Q of Q cube minus 8 Q square plus 50 Q is equal to derivative with respect to Q of the first term minus derivative with respect to Q of the second term plus derivative with respect to Q of the third term. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to Q of Q cube is equal to 3 Q square minus using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to Q of 8 Q square is equal to 8 times derivative with respect to Q of Q square plus Again, using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to Q of 50Q is equal to 50 times derivative with respect to Q of Q. 3Q square minus 8. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to Q of Q square is equal to 2Q plus 50 times the derivative with respect to Q of Q is equal to 1. 3q square minus 8 times 2 equals 16q plus 50 times 1 equals 50. Therefore, the marginal cost function mc, which is equal to dc by dq, that is derivative of c with respect to q, is equal to 3q square minus 16q plus 50. The average cost function ac is minimum at output level q equals 4 now at a minimum of ac that is at q equals 4 let us find the value of marginal cost function now since the average cost function is minimum at output level q equals 4 so in place of q we shall substitute it by 4 4 raised to the power 2 equals 16 minus 16 times 4 equals 64 plus 50 3 times 16 equals 48 minus 64 plus 50 48 plus 50 equals 98 minus 64 98 minus 64 equals 34 therefore the value of MC at Q equals 4 equals 34 hence at a minimum of average cost function AC that is at Q equals 4 marginal cost function is equal to average cost function is equal to 34.